Oh my god, that's like that's so the that's such a good deal on ramen. It's Tony. a really good deal. It's a really good ramen deal. Wow, you could get like maybe four of those with a whole day's work. Yeah, that's great. Oh man, imagine feeding yourself like at all. Four, I mean, four ramens in a day. That's like king level. So here's the thing: if <laughs> when you when you uh, when you uh, abstract food like that, uh -huh. like like if I were to say, "Oh, I'll work and I'll get six meals out of that," I know in my 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 monkey brain's just like, "Hmm, six <laughs> meals. I love food." But then, like somewhere deep down, my lizard brain's like, "No, no, that's like one fifth as much money as you should be making." Ah. Like do you, do you why, why is that? Why is the lizard brain the one that's concerned about money? Well, because the lizard brain, is usually more of an idiot than the monkey brain, is really concerned about getting that food. So that's that's how I feel about it. <sighs> that's see, I feel like the only one that's concerned about money is the human brain. My lizard brain is kind of just like mm, laying sun. <laughs> Mm. Sun too hot. Oh, rock with shade. Mm, yes. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You look exhausted. Yesterday was filled with people carrying heavy emotional baggage. I don't mind it, but dealing with them tired me out a little bit. I actually found myself wanting Dorothy to burst out of that door at any moment. So you miss Dorothy? Kinda. But anyway, nothing a good night of sleep can't fix. Let's just wrap things up around here and call it a day. God, this always happens. So Mal and I just like smashed through like a bunch of dialogue prompts because we finished the game without saving and we we're you know, yeah. sometimes we just. Well, honestly, I think part of it is we record on a Friday night. So we're just like, yeah, we're done. Okay, let's uh, go. No. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's true. Uh, playing with your cat was really fun, so we mm -hmm. got a $300 bonus from Dana, which is like thanks. 50 cents. Yep. So thanks a lot, Dana. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Buy beer to prevent her from getting too distracted. Yeah, all right. All right, but that's all we're buying. Why not everything? Because we need to save money for our mother fucking electricity bill. I guess so. $8,000. It's an $8,000 $8, electricity bill. All right, what do we got uh, over here today? Oh, wow. Well. The Augmented Eye has things. some bullshit. Actually, I like, I like reading the Augmented Eye last. Sure. Cause... Dangerous you. All right. Okay. Uh, Hype! Literally no games. Is anyone else tired of this Monster Girl meme? No. No! No. no. I'm going to marry a Monster Girl! I just want actual gameplay next time. Why would you want gameplay in a Sukabon game? I don't know. All I see is pretty girls with nothing to back it up. Any info on the hardware? It's probably going to be yet another underpowered piece of shit. It's not like the competition is any better. Meh, I think I'll just quit gaming. Nothing but trash as of late. Yeah, remember when games were actually good and devs made them with love and care? Me, Me neither. neither. This Whew. thread is closed. Brutal. Brutal. That, nice self digs there, mm -hmm, Super Bond. Mm -hmm. um, we've already seen this one. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I kind of wish it had like a little like this is new. This yeah, is yeah, like thing. an exclamation point on it or something. And granted, most people who play this don't completely finish the game playing it once a week. Uh huh. But still, I would yeah, appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see what the augmented eye has. Sock your popper. Pro oh. Well done, Mouse. I'll take. I'll take this. Yeah, one. take this. Soccer one popularity sinks as pro wrestling rises. Yeah. Once known as the king of sports, soccer is no longer even a shadow of its former self. After the corruption scandals of the last World Cup, fans have begun drifting towards the theatrical magic of the pro wrestling industry. The last GSF the tournament. Uh, yes, the latest GSF tournament nearly pulled 20 million viewers from Glitch City alone. As of this moment, fans seem to be vastly favoring pro wrestling. It's easier to follow something we know is predetermined as opposed to something that pretends to be a legit sport, said a fan outside the GSF arena. People kicking a ball is boring as shit, too. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Quincy, I certainly like fried chicken. During our weekly interview with Prime Minister Quincy, he revealed his unusual taste for a certain rare food, fried chicken. I know it sounds a bit... Rude to say I like something most people don't have access to, but I just can't deny my love for it. When you taste a chicken breast like the ones that Kenta make, you just can't go back, Quincy declared to the Augmented Eye. In other news, Quincy also confessed his desire to ban instant food, although he later said it was in jest. I wouldn't ban instant food since that's what people in the city like the most, and even though I hate it, no, I wouldn't ban it. Wow. I imagine uh, Quincy doesn't eat instant food. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, Monster Girlfriend Chirari becomes the best-selling video game of all time. The waifu revolution from the 2010s is no longer a laughing matter. What started as a trend has since gone out of control since the standardization of VR technologies, which allow people to live full-time inside their computers. As a result of this trick craze, uh, it shouldn't be a huge surprise to know that the popular Monster Girlfriend franchise has become a commercial juggernaut, with millions of copies shipped in Glitch City alone. Worldwide, the game has shipped nearly 90 million copies since its launch in March, making it a record holder that won't quit. Is the waifu age real? Well, there's your answer. Wow. Mm. Some hard-hitting journalism. Now let's get the... Do you want that game? Uh, anime games are stupid. New ones, at least. Why aren't you four? Yeah, let's go, let's go buy that game. Oh, fuck! Ha-ha! <laughs> Work! <sighs> Damn Good it. evening! Ah, Jill! Good timing. Is it? You two always make me feel like I'm late. If it helps, that dog isn't coming until sometime later. Anyway, do you have something planned for Sunday? Uh, watch silly mega Christmas specials with a thousand grams of black fur on my lap. Why? I was thinking about holding a small mega Christmas party here this Sunday. You in? Sure. Why not? I... Okay, so here's a terrible secret of mine. Mm -hmm. I don't understand people who go to work on their free time. Yeah, no, me neither. I... I refuse to do work in my free time. Even, Categorically, 100%. But, but, like, for me, like, even... It goes beyond that. Like, I can't... I don't go to places that I used to work. Fair. Which is sucks because I used to work at like a delightful little cafe that's so nice and I don't work there anymore. It'd be so neat to no. No. I love that cafe. I Not mean, gonna go there probably. I'm never gonna go to this the same Chipotle location I worked at, but I'll go to another different one. Mal, and this is the difference between you and I. Uh, all all these di that's yeah, that's pretty much it. That's that's the only difference. All right. Besides the glow that you are currently emitting, and is literally yeah. like, I'm glad, I'm glad it's not like two inches lower because it would be obstructing my view of the the text. Yeah. Okay. So here's the thing. Sorry. <laughs> we'll we'll get back to the game in just a second here, but I we have a skylight. We have a skylight, and you know, maybe I need to cover it up sometimes. No. Sometimes because. It's, it seems to come out uniquely when we tend to record, and That's I it. am the one that it shines on, mm -hmm. and I can't see a fucking thing when it does. Well, Tony, you know what? You're a shining star. No matter who you are, shine bright to see Invite any who client. you can truly no, be. No, I stop. <laughs> Invite any client you've uh, acquainted with. The more, the merrier. Oh, I wonder if we get shoes. Yes. You didn't bring your cat today? The raid stopped. They found whatever or whoever they were looking for. Huh. Anyways, we better start working. Yeah, you better. Oh, snap, Dana. Wow. Uh, we're gonna... Shoot, no, we should always... All, all about that base. No rebels. Always, always, always. No, always rebels. I refuse. So I think you unlock songs, like, in that... I, I, uh, I think some of them are, like, character themes or something oh. like that. Ooh. Ah, uh, yes. A star pierces the dark. Your love is a drug. Mm-hmm. Time to mix drinks and change chives. Welcome to Valha. Mm. Uh, um. Uh. I want a fluffy dream. Um. May I see your ID, please? I don't have an ID because, um, I'm the ghost of Mega Christmas Past. I'll haunt you constantly unless you give me a fluffy dream. Do you have money to pay for the drinks? Well, I... Do you? Yes, I... I have money. <sighs> <sighs> the girl asked for a fluffy dream, but she's gotta be crazy if she thinks she's getting alcohol so easily. Uh, oh, I see, so we're just gonna... We're just gonna not karma treen it. But hold on, you could totally put karma tree. Don't in do it. it, Tony. I mean, I'm not going to, but like, okay. you you just could if you wanted to. Mix it. Thank you. Here you go. Wow, I actually got a drink. So, who are you here to stalk, Miss Ghost of Mega Christmas Past? Stalk? Oh, right. I'm a ghost. Uh, that guy. Yeah. Which employee did you leave without? A mega Christmas skill. Jill, please. Would have been funny if he reacted to that. Sorry, kid. I'm not in the mood to humor you today unless you have some sort of ID. Here. 
Well, in a year or so, I would gladly serve you a drink. But until then, this is no place for you. But I already got a drink. A non-alcoholic one. You didn't expect me to really give you a drink, right? Uh... So, if you would please leave... I... I can't leave! Not after trying so hard to even get here! Um... <sighs> Alright, let's start from the beginning, Miss... Norma? How did you know my name? Uh, I saw your ID. <laughs> it could have been a fake ID. I don't think you're stupid enough to make a fake ID that doesn't put you at 18 at the very least. <gasps> you're very sharp, Miss Bartender. <laughs> you look like a nice girl, Norma. Why come to a bar like this? Oh, and so it begins. I can't see a thing. The sun's yeah. in my eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, I told you sunglasses were um, going to be needed. You seem like you're in a bad mood, Miss Bartender. Nah, she's just like that all the time. Shut up. <sighs> Sorry if I've been harsh. These last couple of days have been heavy. And having someone underage here reminds me of a certain incident from last week. Incident? Well... Don't change the subject, young lady. Why did you come here? What do you care? I can do whatever I want. Unless it's illegal. In which case, anyone can, should, and probably will stop you. Mm, I just... just wanted to be more wild, you know? Wild? My mom puts way too many expectations on my shoulders. I've always been out to make sure I don't disappoint her. But it's never enough. It's not good enough to have good grades. She also wants me to go out and take a college preparation course. And I'm tired. I don't want to do things for her anymore. So you came to a bar? Maybe if I came back home smelling like alcohol, she would leave me alone. If I'm not good enough for her, I might as well kill any hope she has in me. It's funny. I have a friend who is also being pressured by her mother. A hilarious, Jill. I know. Really? Yeah, but in her case, it's being pressured to settle down and form a family. Oh. So, let me get this straight. You came here to make your mother disappointed? Yes. Do you like alcohol? Actually, I think it's nasty. Then you're doing things wrong. What? If you're gonna disappoint your mom, at least do it with something you like. Like, become a belly dancer because you want to be a belly dancer. Otherwise, you're just trying to hurt her for the sake of hurting her. Let's start with something. What do you like doing? I don't know. I've been so focused on trying to be good enough that I haven't been able to think about what I want to do. Don't you think you should start there? Eh? <laughs> what good is doing something just for the sake of hurting someone? If she gets disappointed in you over something you like doing, you have the right to protest. But if you're hurting her by hurting yourself over something you don't enjoy... Sounds silly, huh? Very. Go home. Do some self-discovery before hurting your mom, would you? Wow, Jill. <laughs> or, at the very least, humor her until you're old enough to move out. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Miss Bartender. Call me Jill. Jill? All right. Careful out there. In the end, you did hu humor her for a bit. Shut up. Oh, a doggy! <gasps> What was the voice again? <laughs> I think it was like kind of an excited cool guy. Like, uh, like, hello, little girl. Yeah. Oh, shit. G and J, how are you doing? You're late. Missed me, J? <sighs> you too early. <laughs> ah, good to see you here. Boss, will he be any good around here? I'm right here. I know. Of course. I spent lots of time training him. Why do you think he didn't show up last week? Because how the hell would I know you'd bring a part-timer dog? Here, let me show you. Sit. Sir, yes, sir! Roll. Sir, yes, sir! <laughs> Paw. Sir, yes, sir! Training, of course. He's only shouting, sir, yes, sir, and not doing anything else, though. <laughs> I never said I did a perfect job. Hmm? Is that a motorcycle? Oh shit! Hey, not in my office! In the end, he's just a dog, I guess. Oh, oh. who's 
this Akira ass Akira yeah. walking into the bar? Y yes. <laughs> Bathroom. Uh, oh, sorry. It's only for clients. <gasps> oh, um, promise me you'll buy something afterwards. It's that door over there. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell are you? The other one. Sheesh. I said get out of my desk. But the world's ending. It was just a motorcycle. There are the four riders then. Those are horsemen and it already stopped. <laughs> Thanks. Let's who mention it. I need to buy something now, right? Oh no, you don't have to. Sorry if it looked like I meant to inconvenience you. What? What? What, Jill? <laughs> no, I'll order something. I need a rest, anyways. Uh, what can I get ya? Uh, piano woman would be nice. Sorry, didn't hear you. <clears throat> I'll have a Mars blast. Uh, sure. I think you said piano woman first. Let's give him the piano woman. Wow, gay. Yeah. Oh, jeez, Tony. One day you'll learn to count. But today is not that day. I'm aged and ixed. All right. Yeah, yes, Mel? Uh, here. <laughs> hmm. You look happy. Uh, shut up. Is that motorcycle out there yours, mister? Call me Mario. And yes, it's mine. Sorry for the noise. Oh, don't worry. It's not like you stayed outside too long or anything. Why 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 are we why is it just Akira? I know. I don't. So, what do you work as, Mario? I live to paint the roads black with my wheels, leaving the trail of my engine sounds wherever I go. I'm a rebel. Fuck the red lights. Fuck the speed limits. Fuck the helmet laws. The roads are mine and only mine. I am Uh guys, I'm going outside with the dog. We'll advertise the bar. Hello, doggy. Hello, shady guy. Sh shady? Uh, I'll be back before long. Don't worry. All right. Gosh, now did did you text me? No. No. I swear to God, I thought you texted. No. Careful. Tony, why would I? Are you accusing me of like looking at my phone while we're let's playing? Oh, don't don't give me that shit. <laughs> Who is she? Oh, she's my boss. She was cute. Er, not that you're not cute. It's not like I'm into girls either. Oh. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I just... So, where do you work, Mario? I told you, I'm a rebel. I... Rebels can't maintain those bikes for too long. What's your day job? Uh, I'm a delivery boy. That's really appropriate, I guess. What do you deliver? I'm from a courier company, so it's kind of like mail, I guess. I'm always around the city, and I know it like the palm of my hand. Sure, I might not remember every building, but I remember every intersection and every street. That's nice. I still can't take detours without feeling totally lost. Try guiding yourself with the help of landmarks. Around here, the Saber Station's antenna is a good reference. Er, I mean, what do I care? Fix that yourself, b bitch Do you want anything else, Mario? <laughs> I guess a moon blast would be nice. Moon blast? Ah, gut punch! Yeah, that one. <laughs> Again, he asked for a gut punch, but I'm pretty sure he asked for a moon blast first. Okay, all right, let's get him a moon blast. Yeah. Sweet, girly, and happy. He, oh, Four, five, he six. just want. Come, come on, Shoot. come on, biker guy. You don't Camellia have to be like this. Comes and goes. It comes and goes. Ice. Oh, oh, oh. Karma, 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 karma. No, karma, I already karma, make the karma, joke. Karma, it's karma. Oh, 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 I see the, the infinite karma. Mm -hmm. Here. Heh, <laughs> this is good. It's a moon blast. <gasps> I. No, never mind. Say, Mario, why do you try so hard to keep up that tough guy image? It isn't working? Uh, maybe when you arrived and had to go to the bathroom, but after that, you just looked cute. Cute. So, why do it? Bikers are supposed to be scary, right? Rebels that cause trouble and ride free from society's ties. 
Uh, if we applied that brand of logic here, I should be wearing one third of my clothes and writing, lighting drinks on fire. I guess. You can do whatever you want and dress however you want. It's just that you look like you're trying so hard. Like you don't really enjoy that. It's not a lie. Who says you can't dress as a biker and still be a nice kid? Yeah, but other bikers. That sounded like something someone in high school would say. Ugh. <sighs> it's just advice. Don't take it too personally. No, you're right. I don't have to be that way. Wow, look at this. Look at all these assholes who stumble into this bar with like life crises problems or like self image problems. And then they have like a five minute conversation with Jill. And, and then they're solved. like, oh, you're right. Oh, you're right, bartender. Mm -hmm. Unless you want to. I ain't stopping you there. Yeah, but I don't. It's tiring and I don't feel good. If you want, you can try to stay quiet. You were pretty intimidating when you did that. I see. Will you have another drink or did you have too many already? I can handle another one. Give me a fringe weaver. Sure. He oh. actually asked for a fringe weaver instead of just something manly. Good for him. I see. It's bubbly, classy, and strong. Yeah, and it's just it's full of alcohol. It's just a bunch of alcohol. Mm -hmm. Mix. There we go. Beautiful. Here. Yep, that's the one. Thanks. Say, that guy over there. Gil? What's up with him? Are you dating him? Oh my word. No. Is he seeing anyone? <laughs> Not as far as I know. Do you think he... He... No, never mind. I said nothing. Thank you for everything. Please come again. Okay. Hmm. Gay. Ah, oh, Gil. You heartbreaking fuck boy. <laughs> eh? What? Nothing. I'll be taking my break now, Gil. Okay, careful. Never. I like these intermissions so much. I kind of wish we had more art. More art? Are you... More... Uh, Mal is uh, slowly building their uh, their cocoon. I'm powering up. Are you powering up? I don't. I don't <laughs> see your 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 uh, the veins on your neck bulging out. I mean, you would have if you just watched me on. I yeah, yeah, Billy yeah. didn't smell like poo today. That's a new one. Oh, uh, damn it. <laughs> I just said Billy didn't smell like poo today. That's where we're ending. Sure, why not? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's your thing? What's my thing? Well, you know, I can't, it's it's hard to remember it when I'm just doing it on the fly like this. You literally told me to point I at you know. at the end of the video. I know. Should we wow. do it at the end no, of no, the no, next no, video? No, 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 it's fine. No, it's fine. That sure was a video. Hey, if you subscribe to this channel or if you're our Patreon, like, Thanks so much. We really appreciate having you here. And if you haven't done either of those things, you should. Is that the thing? That's the thing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Truly a revelation. Thanking instead of telling people what to do. It's good. I think we should do it. Thanking instead. Thanking. No, no. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to be bossed around. No. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. <sighs>